with a properly conducted high intensity training program, you will grow stronger each and every workout. And make no mistake, listener, developing stronger muscles is a prerequisite of developing bigger muscles. Whenever someone starts to argue with me on that point, I say, what is one supposed to do to grow larger, get weaker? Yes, if you want to grow larger, you must grow stronger. There is definitely a relationship between strength and muscular size. Most obvious is the fact that heavyweight weightlifters and powerlifters are stronger than light weightlifters. And everyone listening to this who ever developed larger muscles observed an attendant increase in strength. No one who ever lifted weights grew larger without growing stronger. It just doesn't happen. It was discovered by exercise scientists long ago that the strength of a muscle is related to the size of its cross-sectional area. Many are still confused on this subject because they see some who are smaller, who possess less muscle mass, that can lift more weight than other larger, more heavily muscled individuals. The mistake here is in attempting to draw a meaningful comparison between two different individuals. The fact is that the man with smaller muscles will grow larger only as he grows stronger, and likewise, the larger man will grow larger still only as he grows stronger. Don't make the mistake of comparing yourself to others. The only person you can accurately compare yourself to is you. And as long as you are increasing in strength as a result of each workout, you are heading in the right direction. And you will grow, but only so long as you are on a proper nutritional program. When a person grows stronger week to week, it is proof that there is a positive change taking place inside of his muscles. Since muscles, by definition, lift weights, a muscle growing stronger can't be exactly the same muscle. If it were exactly the same muscle, it would be limited to lifting exactly the same weight. The main point here is that as a muscle grows progressively stronger over a period of time, it is changing somehow. I'm not specifying what that change is now. I will. For now, just remember, if a muscle is growing stronger, it is in a process of positive change. If during this period of change, the bodybuilder continues to consume nutritionally a maintenance level of calories, by definition here, he will only maintain his existing physical mass. He won't lose, he won't gain, he'll maintain. It goes to the laws of physics or thermodynamics. You can't create something out of nothing. You can't build bigger muscles out of thin air. Certain nutritional and caloric values are absolutely required. What the bodybuilder will be doing by consuming a maintenance level of calories is in essence something less than desirable. To some extent at least, he'll be frustrating the needs of the growth mechanism. He did train to failure, which is what nature requires one do to trigger the growth mechanism into motion. Also, he is growing stronger, therefore the muscle is changing. When the growth mechanism is activated, you might visualize it as a moving conveyor belt of sorts, for lack of a better image, with a number of little men standing on top who are reaching up, they're reaching out to grab the nutritional caloric cement, as I like to call it, that it requires to build the second story, the new mass. But remember, consuming a maintenance level frustrates those little men. They are reaching up, but nothing is there. The body is only receiving enough nutritional and caloric values to maintain the first story, the existing physical mass. In such a case, the muscle change I was referring to earlier, where the bodybuilder is growing stronger, will remain primarily a qualitative strength change. It won't manifest much, if at all, as a quantitative muscle change, i.e., a muscle mass body weight increase. In order to avoid this, the frustrating of the growth mechanism, and to do the opposite, to serve the needs of the growth mechanism, one must consume a number of nutrients and calories above his daily maintenance level. He must go into a positive calorie balance. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and the information provided, please check out more of my videos and subscribe to my channel.